Hello there! Welcome to a Relics of Hyrule video guide video. This video guide video is about the Got that? Good. This one's about the Fire Temple. <laughs> um, so to find the Fire Temple, first you need to find the Yalmar Secret Grotto, which is right here. Bada bing, bada boom. Yalmar Secret Grotto is west of Miko Shauk. It's Shauk. West of Miko. Sh wow. West of Miko Shack and southwest of Solitude, west of Morthal. It's west of everything. And you just gotta go bop, and you're inside. Oh look, there's Ellery. Hello, Ellery. Hello again. Follow me. Lead the way. All right. She's helpful because she cannot die. Um, here's a Gossip Stone. Draugr of Forohos and Roggenwald follow pairs of powerful gauntlets while building. They use them in battle, but also while mining. Very handy to know. Um, basically telling you where to find the precious metal gauntlets. There's some random book. There's a bedroll. There's some Skulltula chitin and some fish and some firewood. And everyone's favorite, this thing, which is about to die. Um, because I'm gonna switch to this, which is now my favorite weapon. And a hawat! Alright, so we got the gold skull tool, we got that, we're gonna kill this hoe. Sorry, Ellery, I didn't know I mean to hit you in the face. And then we're gonna go on down this way. We're gonna, ow, we're gonna sit and we're gonna grab, we're gonna take this, we're gonna take that, we're gonna take this, and then we're gonna, you know, Take that. Uh, we actually do need this, so I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna give Ellery something to hold. How about you hold um, the Death Sword and the Vicious Sickle and the Magic Sword? Okay. And we're gonna go on in this place. Uh oh, there's a Thalmor prisoner. We just kicked him down the stairs by accident. Something's amiss. Here is Thalmor Soldier. She is mean. She has a thing. She is actually about to kill me. Please don't kill me. I'm gonna level up. Actually, wait. I'm gonna wait until I level up. Oh, I can't. I can't be. Okay. Uh, let's grab two-handed Warhammers. Thank you. No, thank you. All right. Thalmor Soldier, what is she here? Thalmor Orders. You are tasked with unearthing a hidden passage west of Fort Snowhawk in Yall March. The cave is inhabited by a madwoman, that's Ellery. But she is of little consequence. Equip yourself well and take prisoners with you if you need labor. Failure is not an option. If our sources are correct, this passage leads to an ancient temple that must be sealed and forgotten. If you find secret doors, destroy them. If you find artifacts, bring them to us, and we will determine their value. If knowledge of this temple is spread, the authority of the Almeri Dominion will be threatened. Let the past die, kill it if you have to, for the glory of the Almeri Dominion. And, of course, that line is a reference to the best Star Wars movie ever made. All right, we're going to use the Song of Time to get rid of this block of time. And now we are going to go into Volcanic Passage, which is a passage that is volcanic. Now, you may wonder, why did we grab that pickaxe? Well, we want to go all the way through Volcanic Passage. You will encounter a keys to your right. Here's a keys. Keys explode. You'll encounter another keys to your front. Keys. Explode. And you'll encounter this to your face, an unstable ebony ore vein, which is not ideal. Now, the problem is I can't use the um, pickaxe while I'm in combat because apparently the bubble that's across from that wall does, they know I'm here. So, ba -ba 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 -ba. and that is the closest we're gonna get to a bombable wall. Thank you very much. Um, there is still kind of a funny thing where your followers will try to mine nothing. Oh well. I could just open this up and remove those things entirely. But where's the fun in that? Bubble! It's time to die. It's dead now. Why are you disappointed? Oh, uh, I forgot something. The f Nameless Red 
They have a really good um, alchemy ingredient, Nameless Red Essence. It gives you Flame Cloak if you eat it. Very handy. All right, so we represent the Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild. The Lollipop Guild. Here's a Dodongo. I bet you can't wait to bomb it. So I'm going to do that. It's bomb. Ow. I'm going to get out of here. I can't. I can't run. I'm... All right, take two. <laughs> Sorry, Ellery. There we go. Dodongo dead. Dodongo has skin or it has a Dodongo claw. This, both are very useful. Um, skin can be used to make Dodongo leather, which you need for crafting Goron stuff. Um, here is a, an Armos aggressor, so we're going to be careful when we fight him. Get it out of here, you. All right. He is now dead. He has an Armos thing. There we go. So that's the Volcanic Passage. It's based on a lava tube, so the idea is lava leaked out of here and came down this way, and there's actually branching paths. Um, that bubble that we fought, the Nameless Red, that was in one of those paths um, where the lava was sort of melting the, the bedrock. So we're going to go into the Fire Temple. We are in the Shire Temple, the Friar Temple, and um, first room is this kind of centralized foyer. Um, right here is a brazier. You can activate that brazier and light it. And those braziers are up throughout the entire um, dungeon, so you can light a ton of braziers and just be happy with life. Um, got a couple chests. Um, got some generic stuff in there. You know, things you like to see. These are big chests, which is which makes sense because this is Goron's, um, you know, generic stuff. Uh, should mention the layout of the Fire Temple is based on the Rupture Tower's fear. The idea is that fear is a misremembered Fire Temple. Um, and that same thing goes for a lot of the other ones. Um, this is something that is not in the Rupture Towers. This is a Goron. But it's actually a Goron Stone Guardian. Uh, these are made by um, Mihail, so I, I use the, those assets for the Goron uh, Guardian. So the idea is the real living Gorons are gone, and this is all that's left. They have these magical constructs, so exploring Goron magic, which is something that hasn't really been touched on. There's a colossal wallet right here. Um, as far as I know in like Zelda, Goron magic isn't really a thing per se. I'm sure there, it might exist, but this is sort of the idea that I'm going for with Goron magic. Anyway, so uh, we have a keys, fire keys. Ah. Fire keys explode when you kill them as soon as you kill them. Ooh. That's unique. That's that's good. Um, that's a rarity. And I picked up something from that Goron that I forgot to mention. The Goron Guardian Core. You want to collect six of these. There are six Goron Cores in the Fire Temple. You want to collect all six because that will help you uh, to uh, do something at the end. So there's another one. I'm gonna have to take care of this guy. I missed. Come on now. There we go. Down for the count. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take Goron Tablet 1. There are six of these. You want to collect all six. So here's where the first one is. Um, <clears throat> this is where we entered. There's the foyer. And then there's the first room, and then we're here. So this is where one of the one of the Goron uh, tablets is. This is part of a lore book. Um, you can actually, if you have a, you know, have the, uh, or if you memorize the Goron script, if you have the Goron script on hand, this is actual actually a page of the um, script uh, of the uh, book on right here. So. Um, Characters line up and everything. I, I did my research. 
Um, there's nothing over here, so we're not going to worry about that. I'm also going to heal. Oh, Ellery, you take care of that one. Okay, I guess it's not going to bother us. That's nice of it. Come on now. I said come on now. There we are. Okay, we got another wallet right there. And we got brazier that we can light. Fire keys giving us fat loots. <clears throat> There's the um, lava tube. So the idea is that the fire temple existed and then Death Mountain made an oopsie and blasted out this uh, tunnel all the way through. So this is the result of lava just trying, you know, seeping through all the cracks and just kind of like blasting through, making a lava tube. And it's bi bisected the uh, dungeon. I'm gonna light this brazier while we're here. I am fighting another thing, uh, a red nameless. Essentially the Bubbles, but the Bubbles don't like the Goron Stone Guardians, apparently. Uh, I chose to name them Nameless because Bubble is not a name that fits Skyrim. Um, the Nameless also explode when you kill them, so you gotta be careful. Oh. Gotta get this at core. There we go, that's the third core. We got Tablet 2 in this room as well. Oh, it's dead. Good. Um, and we got a Corundum Vein. Uh, so this room is sort of right here. We went up through here. We went in here. That's where Tablet 1 is. Tablet 2 is right here. Tablet 3 is in this room. And it is sitting on top of this Gossip Stone. So you can take it and you can talk to the Gossip Stone. The silver and golden gauntlets can be copied into to make an even stronger pair of gauntlets. Yes. There's Nameless Red. Drops a unique alchemy ingredient, Nameless Red Essence, which gives you a flame cloak, which is very, very unique. That's a handy thing to have around, you know, just... If you need a flame cloak, just bada bing bada boom. Anything in this chest? Yeah, just some Corundum ore. And there's a Goron short staff guaranteed for your delectation. So that's Goron Tablet 3. It's sort of an offshoot of where we found Goron Tablet 2. So Goron Tablet 2 is right here in this room. There you go. So there's this big room right here. And Goron Tablet 2 is there. Goron Tablet 3 is here. So, we need to find four, five, and six, and we need to find three more Goron um, cores. Here's, a, here's another one right here. We're gonna fight this guy. He's not gonna enjoy our company very much. Ooh. All right, you good? He dead. All right, Goron core. Oh, I hear another uh, bubble. We don't want the bubbles. Sorry, Ellery, but you're gonna be in the line of fire here. There we go. I'm gonna take that, take the other stuff. And did I get the core from this guy? I did. Good. I'm gonna take these arrows. Now, this seems like it's a dead end, and that's because it is. I'm gonna climb up here, which you don't have to go this way, honestly. There is another way to get up here, but hey, it works. Um, the other route is you know, up here and kind of through and around, but who has time for that? There's a Armos, which you can mine, but it's probably not a good idea because it'll get mad at you. But no matter, it's gonna get mad anyway. Here's Goron Tablet 4. Ooh, and a white kinstone, and a blue kinstone, and a Goron Mace. So we're gonna have to deal with this guy. Oh. <laughs> 
You good? Alright, you dead. I need to give this guy a better healing spell. This really... really sucks. <laughs> Alright, here's uh, another room. Oh, hey, Gold Skultula! Thanks for coming out. Gold Skultula. And... Brazers. I hear a fairy. That's good. Also, here's this. Unstable Ebony Ore Vein. Ah, but we can't use it while in combat, so we are going to uh, whip out pickaxe, or hacky hacky slash slash, and this reveals a cache. Inside the cache is a legendary pictograph for the Mirror of Twilight, so you don't want to miss that. The unique item for the Fire Temple. Once again, that is this room right at the bottom here, sort of southwest of everything. Here's a Lizalfos. I should have snuck up on him. Oh, oh dear, I've been poisoned. That is not good. I'm gonna have to cure that poison. I can cure disease, but I can't cure poison. That's not ideal. Lizalfos has a Lizalfos fang. Fortify smithing. Handy to have around. Alright, let's beat up this guy. Ow. There we go. And we're gonna take that core. And here's another one. Another eb unstable ebony vor vein right under this green fairy. Now, it is showing us the green fairy. Oh no. The green fairy is showing us. Um. That this is valuables, that's what green fairies show. So the valuable that it's showing us is partially the ebony ore, but also inside this chest we have Goron Tablet 5. Um, and we have some bombs. So Goron Tablet 5, how many tablets do we have? We are missing one, we are missing six. Number six. And I believe we have five cores. Okay, good. So we're only missing one of each. And that is very good. We've already been here because we lit the brazier. This room is one that throws people off, I think. This is sort of a dead end. Um, but this is where you find the last of everything. Ow. go got that core and inside this chest we have tablet six and goron circle which i will take i'll take that too and we have a guaranteed giant's ingot and a guaranteed uh goron club we have a giant wallet i'm not gonna take actually you know what i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna put it in this chest actually no i'll give it to ellery because i don't want to misplace it ellery ellery where are you Leader's telepathy really quick. Um, actually, yeah, you can... There we go. Little trick with um, extensible follower framework. Uh, let's see here. Let's give her moon shards and the giant thing. So we have all the tablets and we have all of the um, cores. Um, if you wanted to, you could go to the Ancient Enchanter right now and change all of those tablets into um, the lore book, uh, Darunia's Folly. Uh, we're not going to do that right now, but what we are going to do is face the final boss of the dungeon, which is over here. Um, there's a lot of stuff to take in in this magma chamber. Um, this is the same size as the magma chamber in Fear, which, the one in fear looks a lot bigger because of the fog, but this is the actual size. Uh, we have a dead Dodongo right here, because it was fighting the bubble and lost. And the Dongo, of course, has the Dongo Claws. Great resist fire. Hey, now. And... Nemo's ready. 
essence. Got a good stuff there. There's uh, the boss. It's a giant Armos. There's another Dodongo, and then there's this. This is a reference. And if you sort of piece out, piece out. If you sort of piece together the shapes that are here, you can kind of figure out what it is. It's heavily implied what it is. Um, here's a sapphire geode. There's geodes all around the outskirts, uh, the edges, the perimeter of this magma chamber. And right over here, there's an ebony ore vein, but then further is another geode, a sapphire geode. But if you go even further, <laughs> if you go right here, then we have yet another ebony ore vein. But in addition, probably where that Dodongo is, honestly. Oh dear, we anger the monster. Okay, we're gonna get over here. This right here, come on. This is a diamond geode, which is very unique. Oh man, the dongos, they hit like trucks. The Armos Titan also hits like a truck. Now, um, diamond geodes, you don't find those um, in Skyrim. Um, they're unique to the Fire Temple. Um, and it's actually inspired by uh, how diamonds form. Um, they form in uh, what they... They're intrusions. Um, oh my god. Diamond... What is it called? They're called... Uh, I don't remember what they're called. <laughs> Hang on. I'm actually looking it up right now because I want to give you the right information. I have a degree in geology. Uh, Trusted Indian. Kimberlite. Um, and I think there's another term for it. Yeah, Kimberlite. It's a special intrusive igne igneous rock. But yeah, Kimberlite. Um, you'll find those intrusions in places, and then diamonds can form there. We're going to deal with this thing. Um, something to point out, this thing uh, does not does not take a lot of damage from arrows, has high damage resistance, and granted this guy isn't great at magic, but it does not, it resists flames very muchly, but one thing it doesn't resist is warhammers. Nope, I don't want to do that. So you can see I'm doing a pretty hefty amount of damage per strike, and it's doing hefty damage to me. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Heal. I wish I uh, had Ellery with me. I don't know where she went. Ow. Ow. Okay, no. No thank you. We're gonna Great Fairy's Tears, because I'm not gonna deal with that. <laughs> All right, he's down for the count. He has the Cobble Crusher, which is a unique weapon. This is from uh, Forgotten Magic, so don't worry about that. Um, he also has the Fire Temple Key, which is what you need to be the very best, the best that ever was. I'm gonna remote access her inventory and plop the Cobble Crusher in it. Ooh, that is strong! Look at that thing! That is really strong. I might get rid of the Dark Knight Battle Sword in favor of this thing. Um, sword of the Sages. I mean, it is a great sword. Let's take a look at that thing. Look at that. Oh, it's honking. That is a chungus. That is one heck of a heck of a thing. So, we have the key, and now we can uh, go into. Well, um, we can go this way. And that is to the right once you enter. Look at how big that is. But you enter here, and you fight the Armos Titan, and you go right there. And we come on in. We can light a brazier. There's nothing here yet. And we are now in the Fire Temple. No, the Goron Forge. And now we're in the Goron Forge.
Um, so what you want to do is you want to light these braziers, and you do that with the Goron Guardian cores. That's why you want to um, get on them all, <laughs> so that you can light all these braziers. Um, there's six, so you want to get all six. And once you light all six, then you can uh, reignite the forge. You can pull one of these levers beforehand, and that'll raise that up. Um, that always works, but in order to actually rekindle the forge, you need all of the um, braziers lit. So we're going to pull this lever right here, and that didn't seem to do anything, so we're going to pull this lever again, and then you hear that noise, and that tells you that the Goron forge is lit, and you'll see this kind of stuff going on. Um, just for good measure, I'm pull that one. Um, so you see the steam, it's starting to rise. It takes a few minutes, but eventually this area will become lava, so you want to cross it uh, before it's too late. So I'm going to get one of these out, a little torch. Um, because this is the easiest way to get this chest, which has a guaranteed crimsoning ingot in it, um, and some other junk. Of course, you can use like Whirlwind Sprint and Cane of Samaria and um, Blair Fire and all that good stuff to cross this when it is uh, lit. But if you want to get the Crimsonine easily, that's a good thing to do, is cross it before it's lit. Um, in the Goron Forge, there's all these braziers too that you can light for additional mood lighting. There's a smelter. Um, there's also an armor workbench and a tempering workbench. The armor workbench is normal. The tempering workbench is a little special. Um, I figured this out. It's something I've wanted to do. It is a grindstone, but it uses the hammering animation. And I'm very proud of the fact that that actually worked. Um, there's the Goron Forge itself, which is active. So you can use it as soon as you light all these um, braziers with the Goron cores. Um, and uh, even if the lava's not there, you can still use it. And um, you can make Elden stuff, you can make Goron stuff, you can make Goron steel, and you can make Goron, uh, wait, where is it? The giant ingot. Giant ingot right here. Where is it? Where the hell is the giant ingot? There it is. You can make giant ingot out of steel and Goron steel out of steel. Um, and then there's the alteration table, guaranteed. Very nice. You can change things just like at any alteration table. Um, there's also this chest right here. Let's get the torch. There's the chest. Inside the chest you get some guaranteed, very nice stuff. Guaranteed Goron glass armor. Um, and it also does not respawn. Um, I'm not sure if this is guaranteed. I think the kinstone is guaranteed, but I don't know if it's always black. Um, but you also have... Life Light, which is the poem of the dungeon, um, and it also kind of gives a hint as to, you know, that you need to rekindle the Goron Ford. You know, colors weave into a spire of flame. Uh, on that day when the sky fell away, it's a reference to the old stuff that happened a long time ago with the relics of the High Rules. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I, I'll probably read poems in like a, um, a separate video. Colors weave into a spire of flame. Bear this torch of the good coal of the night. There's another one. Um, <clears throat> ah, from the distance sings a chorus of souls rising slowly stirring heat from the coals. So that's why I chose it because there's reference to fire. Um, now you may be thinking well that's all well and good but what the frick is with these tablets well, if you know Goron, you can read them, um, but uh, chances are you don't. So let's go to the College of Winterhold, not Wiregirl, Win Winterhold. Uh, damn it. It's Winterhold College. Um, it didn't, oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so we're in the Midden at the College of Winterhold. 
and you want to go to the Ancient Enchanter. You can use any Ancient Enchanter. It doesn't have to be the Midden. The Midden is just the most convenient one. Um, or maybe Palestone Camp is the most convenient one. But when you go to the Midden, or at the Ancient Enchanter, whether it's the Midden or not, who cares? Um, you can make Darunia's Folly if you have all the Goron tablets. And this is the text that is on the... Um, Tablets. Tablets themselves. The um, Goron script is on there. Um, so let's go back to the Fire Temple. Hello. Because I don't want you to miss the uh, flames rekindling. Um, okay. So we're going to stand right here, and I'm going to read you Darunia's Folly. Alright, so... This is the text from the tablets. You can transcribe it, um, whatever you need to want to do. <laughs> you can see that I did actually put the text on each tablet because I'm insane. This war has raged for immeasurable time, but Hylian soldiers can be comforted for Goron steel and Goron craftsmanship support them. Our brothers at the edge of war will not fall for Goron hands are holding them up. Our minds are rich with ore, even after some feared the caves would be depleted. There's always more material in the earth. The good earth can provide for everyone well past the end of any war. Each paragraph is the tablets, each tablet. We must do more for our brothers in battle. Legends tell of a beast tamed by ancient civilizations to defeat a great evil, and those same legends tell that it rests beneath Death Mountain. We must find this beast and awaken it. We have studied the rocks, deep beneath Death Mountain, and they tell us valuable history. We have done deep, dug deeper than any have ever before and are on a promising path. This divine beast will turn the tide of this war, I am certain of it. Something has been discovered. It is unlike anything we have seen. Material far different from the rocks around it and resonating with magical energy. We will break through it if possible and dispel it if needed. I am venturing to see the newly unearthed divine beast. I will bring the Megaton Hammer with me in case the beast cannot listen to reason. So, the idea is the Gorons were looking for Varudanya, but they found something else instead. I don't want to spoil, but they were looking for Varudanya. Um, that thing that we saw in the um, magma chamber... Not gonna tell you what that is, but uh, it's something. Anyway, Ellery is scooping up some coal. Um, I want you to see this lava reappear in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stand right here and show you in real time. I'm not gonna edit or anything. The lava return. Um, also, there's a vent up there. I was originally going to design Volcanic Passage to look like a Tesla valve, but I couldn't figure out how to make that work properly. Um, so I put that vent up there. It, there would be a vent. Um, and then all of this is retextured dwarven uh, stuff to have um, stone piping around it. The idea is that um, it's like encased in lava. Um, it's just a very old forge, but like it used to look like that red metal, but now it's just covered in lava, um, and cooled. Um, I think that, I mean, that's pretty much it for the fire temple. I'm just sort of, uh, you know, wasting time until we can actually see the lava return. Um, I... We'll expand it in the future. Every temple is going to get a little expansion. I'm really happy with how the fire temple turned out. Um, it was the second to last one that I made, I think. Um, the forest temple was the last one. Fire temple was second to last. Very happy with it. But I do have plans for something that I'm going to do with it in the future. So keep an eye, keep an eye out for that. It's very exciting. Um, Every temple is going to get an expansion of some kind. I'm trying to think of something else that I could mention here. Well, I think I'll just let it... 
do its thing, and at some point the lava will return. And if I come up with anything else um, worth mentioning, I will mention it. But the next little bit of footage is unedited. It's just the timer sort of running down and showing you the lava. There we go, perfect. We didn't have to wait very long at all. But yeah, there is a timer when you activate the Goron Forge. First, at first the um, steam appears, and then I think, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how long it is. I'll have to time it on the video itself. I think it's six minutes, but I'm not sure. Um, the heat shimmering appears, the lava appears, that stone floor is disabled. Um, and the steam stays, but then there's more steam that's added. Um, and I believe that steam vent at the top also reappears, but then all this light appears as well, um, illuminating all of this. Um, and it is proper lava. There is also a uh, damage trigger right there. Don't wanna get too close to it. Um, so it all it's all great. It's amazing. I'm really happy with this this setup. Um, and there will be a point in the future where you will be able to warp directly to the fire temple. I'm working on that. Um, that will be coming uh, soon. Trademark. You good, Ellery? Just working out your frustrations. Anyway, that's all I got for you for the fire temple. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and. We'll see you in the next Relics of Hyrule video guide video.